Hi, it's me, I'm Sarah from 190, welcome back to my channel. As you might remember a few days ago, I did a hidden crafting table device. And it was pretty good, but it's very old now and it's very bulky and I thought it was time to upgrade it. And this is what it looks like underneath. You can see it's a very simple contraption. It's okay. Please, it's okay. And not only that guys, but I came up with a cool device that does other things other than crafting tables. It does DNT. It does TNT to your friends and it control your friends. For example, I can push the TNT above the square and when they're activated, they'll die instantly. Um, let's just fix that up again. Let me show you, let me calm down a little bit. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, if you can get a, a slime piston just in the air like magic like that, just put a block underneath like that with a torch underneath that and you'll see it will react. When you do this, guys, it, you'll notice that it has moved. That's great. So get out another sticky piston, face it up like so with a block of choice, let's say a TNT, and a grass block on the top, okay? So get a, a lever out here and just whack that down. When you do that, it will instantly turn on and reveal itself to any player unsuspectingly. Like this, for example, I'll use a sponge so it's less destructive. When I hide the sponge, it goes underground. And when I reveal, it will come back up. So let's get some water and let's test this out so we can see what it's doing here. This is pretty cool too if you want to hide a chest. Um, so let's see what you can do here. You turn on, bang! The water is gone, guys. It's magic. It's magic. And you can put your crafting table here as well, and in the same fashion faction, you can turn on and off, like so. So if you want to take away your lever and run away, you'll find that you can't because it will stay there. But there's a way around that. All you need to do is, uh, all you need to do is basically, uh, uh, swap them around, like so. So get out your grass block and just swap them around in different positions and now you can take it away and run away and no one will ever know. So if you're in factions and you don't want people to know you have a hideout, you can hide mostly everything here like this. Somewhere. So now I'm using glowstone, I'm thinking, hey this will be good at night time so when I wanna when I wanna open a chest or when I open it or turn it on, it'll work. So let's get out a redstone block. Whack it there. And now when I step here, it will just turn on. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. At night time, I notice it looked pretty cool too. Oh, what? Can you guys hear that? What is that? Oh, that's my fireworks machine over there. My eight-way machine. It reacts only at night because of the... The night? Oh, guys, check this out. What you can do... This just gave me an idea. You can get, a, you can get one of these out. And you can connect it up all the way, all the way pronto, back to the, the square that actually has the lever on it. So you remove the lever, put the redstone into it. And let's see if this works at night. Mostly. It works! So at night time, it will reveal the block. And light up. And, at, and in daytime, you guessed it, guess what? It will go away. Pretty cool, I thought pretty cool. Lots of things you can do with this guys, there's lots of room for activities. So let's try out a few more things. Let's try the TNT again, that was pretty cool. So if you put the TNT down on the bottom square, put that there and activate it, it will react the way you would faction it. They like that. I'm extremely, I'm real faction happy about this guys, I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm happy with this design. Let's, let's play around with it a little bit more. I'll show you guys how to build it step by step as well, don't forget. So let, let, let us do that now. So let's get bedrock out because that's not likely to blow up. So we don't have to keep remaking it. So let's put it up one block. And put a redstone dust, uh, blah, put a redstone torch right there. And on the top you want to put your sticky piston like this. Put a... Okay, now please put a bedrock block there. No, don't, because it won't move, so be careful. See? So you want to make sure you put a movable block there too. So let's get out a dirt block. And now that we've done that, let's try it out. And it works well. Okay, so we're nearly there. We're about 50%. Okay, so we want a sticky piston facing up. And on the top of that, we will put our block of choice. Make sure it's a moving block, because if it isn't, it won't move back. 
So I'm going to use sea lantern block. Oh yeah, and don't forget to put redstone, not here, but here. <coughs> and now you've done, completely done, that's it. That's the entire contraption. I'd like to thank Mumbo Jumbo Kajumbo for this, actually, because he was using this in a different design. And I thought, well, this would be really cool for a TNT uh, type of troll. So yeah, that's why I did that. But now it's uh, I decided to use the mechanism to activate it as a trap chest instead of a lever. So it is it's a little different now. And these are the things you can do with this. We could use glowstones, of course. So when you open up the chest in the dark cave, uh, it will light the cave. Let me show you the cave. You've got to see the cave first. Okay, we're in the cave. You open up the chest and it's lighting up the cave. It's beautiful. Or it can blow you up because you don't like whoever it is that tries to steal from you. Or you could simply, you know, do what you wish. Um, also, I'm going to show you how to build it one more time real quick. Because that's how quick it is with different types of blocks. And let's see what they do. Okay, so we have our regular block, one up, bang, smack. We have our torch, kazam. We will now put on our sticker piston facing this way. And that was done with 50%. Put that one facing up. And the block of choice is up to you with the lever and the redstone dust and you're done. That's it guys, that's so cool. So cool. And now you can add to it and change it and do so many, so many activities with it. I am activity out guys. Look, a crafting table can be hidden. Why? Because in factions, remember? If you're in factions, you don't want people to know you're factionating here. You can hide it away. Very cool. I'm impressed, but I like it best with a trap chest. So I'm going to put it here with some redstone behind it and repeat it basically so that when I open it, it will react. Hitting the same block that actually has the lever on it. All you have to do is remove the lever and connect them up like this. Uh, let's put it into a block. Get a redstone torch out under it as well. Make sure you do that. Break that one away. And, and just connect a block here of redstone. And let's get our repeater out behind that block. And it will already be on, as you can see, it's already activated, that's fine. And connect it with redstone dust. And you're done. It should all activate perfectly. There's your crafting table. You can open up your chest, it'll close. Uh, that's pointless, but it's funny. It's cool. You can even have a hole that opens up. It takes you into a lava world of many flames and pain and death for anybody who wants to use it without your permission. You can faction it them. You can faction them away. I like the water one the most. I really think that's cool. It opens up, the sponge takes the water, and it's uh, it's no longer hidden. So that'd be cool for a mini game, or a type of battle mode, or something like. Did I say battle mode? Oh my god, guys, you got to check that out. IGN has a special, a 20-minute gameplay on that. It's actually quite cool, and it will work very well with some of my mini games. I'm gonna remake and make a lot better for that. So stick around for that. I'll be working on mini games for battle modes and uh, Hunger Games, basically, from now on in. Until No Man's Sky. Okay, so guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thrive, guys. Stay alive.